There are five features built into the Pre-Week Planner. Gratitude Reflection, Drawing Board, Mission in Progress, Weekly Meal Planner, and Your Cue. Gratitude Reflection is all about celebrating the little things. You can write down three things that you're grateful for or three wins from the previous week. Ultimately, it's about starting and ending your week on a more positive note. The drawing board is extra space that has been built into your planner. So instead of reaching for a sticky note or random loose pieces of paper for note taking and list writing and brainstorming, you've got that extra space in your planner. This means that you can keep everything in the one place instead of across multiple notebooks and random pieces of paper. Although it's called the drawing board, drawing is just one of the many, many ways that you can use this blank canvas. You can use it to write a massive to-do list and then slowly feed that to-do list into your weekly spread. That's what I personally like to do. You can use it to write a weekly journal entry, brainstorm concepts, write a pros and cons list. It's completely up to you how you use this space. If you're looking for some inspiration and you want to see how other curation users are using their drawing board, just check out the link below. Owners of Curation A4 will notice an A4 dot grid on the left hand side of the pre-week planner. This is basically an extension of the drawing board. It's extra space for planning and organizing each week. The dots strike the perfect balance between structure and flexibility. The dots provide more structure than a blank canvas, which means you can write neatly, but it also provides a framework for sketching, doodling, and mind mapping. One week you might use it for a journal entry and another week you might use it to brainstorm a business idea. The mission in progress section links back to the goals that you've set earlier in the year. It is designed to keep your long-term goals top of mind by getting you to think about what goal-related tasks you can complete during the week. It's so easy to set intentions at the start of the year, but it's just as easy to forget about them during the year. That's why we've included the mission in progress section to remind you and to keep you on track with your goals, but also to help you get back on track when you do find yourself drifting off course. What we recommend each week is to flip back to the missions that you've written down at the start of the year and have a look at the steps required under each mission. Then ask yourself, what are some steps that I can realistically complete this week? If you're not pursuing any goals, then you can use this space to write down your top five priorities for the week. That's what I personally like to do if I'm not pursuing any major goals. There are so many benefits to planning your meals in advance. It really does alleviate decision fatigue and it allows you to make more mindful food choices. We've carved out space for you to plan out your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner and your snacks. But of course, you don't need to plan out each and every meal if you're having the same thing every day. For example, I have the same breakfast every single morning, so the only thing I really plan out are my dinners for the week. It can also be helpful to have a look at what you've got on during the week. For example, if you've got a busy Tuesday, you might decide to cook a big meal on Monday night so that you have leftovers for Tuesday night, which you know then makes it easier on yourself. It's just about taking a more mindful approach when you're planning out your week. It's also a good way of coming up with seven meals for the week. It doesn't mean that you have to have exactly what you've planned for Wednesday. It just gives you a short list to work with. If you don't want to use it as a weekly meal planner, you can also use it as a food diary to log your food. Your Cue is a series of weekly challenges designed to keep your week a little more interesting. They are both comfort zone and mindfulness challenges that are designed to help you step out of your comfort zone and try something new.